very brief ceremony on this sandbar located north of the Sarstoon River, more than 100 Belizeans assembled in five vessels and headed to Sarstoon Island, way further south. But even as the boats approached the mouth of the Sarstoon River, two Guatemalan vessels closed in from where they had been stationed all morning, intercepting the lead skiff and bringing it to a stop. Without words spoken, the gestures were enough. The Guatemalans wanted us gone from what they say are their waters. But here's the thing. That landmass just in front of the huts in the distance is Sarstoon Island, which shows just how far off the vessels were stopped by Guatemalan military. He was saying that we were in Guatemalan waters and that we should stop. We should, before we get into trouble and before we cause an accident or they have to detain us, that we should turn around. And I kept telling him that we were not in Guatemalan waters, that it's a Belize's territorial waters. I said, south, north of the Sarstoon Island, around this creek, is not even disputed. I said, this isn't even the border. After we turned around the island and we were on the south channel, the deep channel, then that would have been the river that separates Belize and Guatemala. Northern Territorial Volunteer Orlando de la Fuente led the exchange with the Guatemalans before making the decision to proceed no matter what. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Keep on moving! In a boat ironically named Good Times, OAS personnel from the adjacency zone stayed well back from the action. And our captain got scared and he said he can't go and he could not proceed and that he tried to turn back and so then I, I had to forcefully get to the back. I had to come under the boat and I tell him move. And I took the boat and I tried to move again. And every time I go, one I didn't go so, one I didn't go so. And one time we rammed their boat. But two times we had to end up to ram their boat because I could not stop in time. And eventually I was able to, like when they got so, I quickly moved on the, at their stern. And we were able to break through eventually. And eventually the, what, the second boat, the smaller one, pulled back and the big one stayed beside us. And they just kept escorting us throughout the trip. Four of the Belizean vessels were able to head into the northern channel of the Sarstoon. Again, you can see from the map that it is in Belizean territory. Head of the Belize Territorial Volunteers, Will Mejia, was in a vessel that could not get past the Guatemalans, who he says were clearly in our waters. When, when we were looking, the Sarstoon Island was to the left of us. So there's no confusion. There was absolutely no confusion. Guatemalans came into Belize territory and bullied Belizeans. So what we told them then is that you are in Belizean waters. You need to move to make we go. We made seven attempts, right, Will? Seven attempts. Seven attempts. The last one, we did it in front of the OAS for them to see that these people are in our waters and refused to give us passage. Every time we, they, they intentionally, they would jam our boat. Three times we almost made contact and different ones of us One pushed it. One time we made contact. One time we made contact and then they said, look, you touch our boat, we have the right to shoot. Right? They did say that. This is the Sarstoon Island, which at least used to be a part of Belize's territory. It is over 100 acres, but there is no place on it to make landfall. Realizing he could not stop the four vessels, the Guatemalan boat captain was kind enough to escort us the entire circuit. It's a victory of sorts, but bittersweet, or maybe just bitter. This is a victory for the Belize Territorial Volunteers, but this is a failure for the government of Belize. It's friggin' sad, man. Sad that we could enter our own territorial waters and, and that the Guatemalan military would be right in front of us and cut us off and try to prevent us from navigating our own waters while the Belize military takes instructions from the government and they sit behind us, idle, just to watch. I mean, aren't they supposed to protect us? Aren't they supposed to exert sovereignty over our waters? That, that is shame, and that's the failure of the government. I believe that the reason our government is pushing the ICJ is because our Prime Minister and our Foreign Minister has already ceded Sarstoon Island and the only way they will prove otherwise to me is if they come out with the escort of our Coast Guard and our BDF and go and circle that island themselves to tell us, the police and people, we have not ceded it. Our government is compromised. Dean Barrow has ceded Sarstoon Island and only he going there and making his presence shown can prove to me and the Belizean public otherwise. It's just like mind-boggling to me how we as a nation could allow a country to come into our country and bully our people while we have $100,000 Coast Guard boats sitting outside 
and not, do not even try to intervene to try and support the Belizean people. I mean, it, it is shameful that this government continue to operate like that, do not provide protection for its borders, do not provide pro protection for people that's moving freely inside this country. It is downright shameful. Observed at all times by the OAS and shadowed by both carrying Guatemalan media personnel, the Belizean vessels, flags flying proudly, exited the southern channel very close to the island before making their way back to Barranco.